Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video of Geeky Ranjit Explains, I'm going to talk about modems and routers. Actually, a lot of people confuse between routers and modems and actually uh, the modem does a different job and a router does a different job and let me talk about them now. So, a modem and router. Actually, a lot of confusion and many people mix each other and... Uh, it's uh, I would say it's a little bit confusing because this is a modem and modem is nothing but a very simple device if you have been using the internet for some time and it uh, comes via let's say a old telephone line connection like this as you can see this one you might be using a modem like this this is an ADSN modem and what a modem does is nothing but modulates or demodulates the signal and that's nothing but it just converts the signal that comes over this telephone line for example for the ADSN model and converts it to a digital medium which your computer can understand. Most probably the modems these days convert it to a Ethernet cable that you can directly attach to your computer. So basic job of a modem is to modulate and demodulate the signal and uh, convert it to a way which your computer can understand and the most common way is to convert it to an Ethernet one. And we do have modems in different formats. As you have seen, this uh, most popular is this ADSL type. This is a telephone line jack, which goes in here in the modem. It goes here. There's also one more popular one that is known as cable modem. And uh, in that, uh, the internet will come via a, what do you say, coaxial cable. And that's known as a cable modem. So the job of essentially a modem is just to convert that analog signal to a digital signal which your computer can understand and now you might say what is a router and because many this is just a modem but be, uh, these days many of the modems can also do the job of a router so what is a router let me show you actually first a router this is actually a wi-fi router the most popular one uh, where it can also transmit the internet via wi-fi and if you notice at the back we have a van port the internet that comes from your modem will go in here and you can also attach multiple computers for example for this uh, router you can attach up to four physical computers and also it has wi-fi so what a router does is it can take that single internet connection that you get here is your router and spread it to multiple computers and you might be uh, asking how does it do this and basically it has something called NAT network address translator and DHCP server via which it can do this magic. I'll talk about these things in the next video. These days most of the modems also can perform the function of a router and actually most of them do that and it is very common for a type of modem called ADSL Wi-Fi modem. And actually, I prefer the standard, uh, standalone uh, Wi-Fi modems instead of ADSL type. And you might ask why? Because the thing is that if uh, your ISP is providing internet via ADSL, that is this telephone line, most probably they will provide a modem to you. So you just need to connect it to your Wi-Fi router. And the second thing is, as I told you, many of the high-speed uh, internet connections that are being provided these days uh, are being provided just directly via the ethernet cable that will directly connect to these type of uh, wi-fi routers so that's it for this video i hope the, you have a better understanding of a modem and a router uh, again do note that in the comment section please try not to go off topic because i won't be answering off topic uh, questions so again stay tuned to my channel and in the next video we'll talk about NAT and DHCP server that is used in most routers. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.